What's going on guys? It's Justin here with Summit Racing and we stopped in to see our friends over at Burrow Battery to check out their cool product lines and give you guys a little bit of info of what makes their batteries great. So I'm here with Gary from Braille and he's gonna run us through some of the cool products they have. And if you guys haven't heard of Braille before, they're well known for their lithium ion batteries and also their AGM batteries. And they put a ton of technology into these things that separate them from just a regular battery. So how are you doing today, Gary? I'm doing great, how are you? Awesome, you know, just enjoying the show. The weather's nice, you can't yep, beat it. It's where it's SEMA. Exactly. So you wanna give us a little bit of info on Braille batteries and kind sure. of run us through your product offerings? Sure, Braille's been around you know, outside of racing. Most people haven't heard this uh, but in racing we've been at it with the lithium uh, batteries for about 13 years now so it's not real new technology to us but it has advanced and gotten better over time uh, we started off with everything from IndyCar Formula One NASCAR obviously drag racing is a very big market for us with our 16 volt batteries we, we do love drag racing yeah, a lot of drag race guys out there so that's really where the lithium technology really took hold and we obviously have a wide range of 12 volt models as well um, based on you know the application, the car, how they're being used, uh, you can actually get a battery that's designed specifically for the application. So it's not just a one size fits all like a lot of batteries are. So you can see from the different lines we've got here, the green light's kind of more of our uh, beginning entry level, which everything from like your four and six cylinder street track day cars to your small block V8 hot rods, LS swapped, you know, some of the circle track cars, you know, your crate engine guys that are still running an alternator, but running a small battery. Uh, we came out with these new uh, SPS uh, lines here. They're very popular in Europe, but also used here as far as compact. You know, hot rodders don't have space for sometimes to put the battery. So we've come out with a couple different models uh, in that regard too. And then you get into the, the blue ones here, which is your professional race grade. So that's spare no expense. Everything from NASCAR's use this for over a decade. Corvette racing, Lexus use them in their endurance race cars. Um, a lot of the prototypes use these. The 16 volt one is exactly in this case, but it's a green one that has Super 16 on it. So uh, a little different, very, very popular because it's only you know, three inches wide. That is, it is know? just so amazing. You know, you think it's this big battery and you just go and pick it up with one and hand like it's no big deal. Yeah, almost everything on this entire uh, uh, table here is under 10 pounds. So when people don't realize, they see the picture of it, they don't realize exactly how light they are. So, you know, we have something, you know, it's about eight or nine pounds, but has, you know, upwards of, you know, 15, 1600 cranking amps. And really take care of them, you should get a good 10, you know, seven to 10 years out of them plus. Um, then we've got our full-size ones for a lot of your street cars, track day cars, Corvettes, Porsches, things of that nature. Group 34 is very common, you know, a lot of hot rods for your yeah, Very, like very popular it. battery Just size. Just generic, so we got that too. We got a couple other ones as well. And then we have our AGM ones and all of them are made in the USA. And so we we detail. love made in the USA. So we definitely push that and all of the batteries really, it's, it hasn't maintained just the same exact technology. They've been made better, safer, more reliable. Uh, the failure rate is less than one half of 1% annually. It's usually from guys doing something to abuse them or damage them or you're not maintaining them. I mean, properly. you know, if you use something wrong enough, you will let the magic smoke well, out. Well, you can, you know, destroy anything. We know racing, you know. It's, yeah, you know, you know, it's, hard, it's hard on parts. But we do have a lot of race cars, you know, that have seven to 10 years on our Gen 1 lithium batteries, and we're on Gen 4 now. So we've seen, you know, increases in cranking power, performance, reliability. And we keep pushing the envelope. As it's far really as cool that you guys stay on the forefront of technology when it comes to this stuff and you're always developing. We're excited to see what you guys come out with next because you guys have a killer product line already. Well, we appreciate it. I mean, Summit is definitely our largest stocking distributor in the U.S. We, we talk uh, to most of our customers that they're looking for it. They can get it from you guys. You have them around the country in your warehouses. They get it quick, you know, free shipping and all that good stuff. And so we really appreciated the uh, 12, 13 plus, I think right almost 15 years, I think that we've been tied in with Summit, uh, with a small you know, company out of Sarasota, Florida. Now, if I want to put one of these in my daily driver, do I have to do anything to it? Like, does it need a different alternator or regulator? This is just, is it just plug and play? It is a plug and play. We get a lot of customers and that's one of the biggest questions is like, can I just stick it in my car because it needs a different charger when you're charging externally because of the higher voltage of lithium. And that delivers you know quicker starting, better engine management, ignition performance. Everything works better with lithium than it does with uh, AGM. And so uh, the benefit with the alternators, they have a regular, so they adjust that voltage and current based on the type of battery. So you don't have to do anything different in the car. We've got everything from motorcycles, you know, just regular you know, sport bikes, Harleys. We have a big Harley audio bike uh, battery that we're selling a ton of right now. 
and uh, basically the guys in hot rods, street cars, daily drivers, you name it, import tuners to your big muscle cars, we have something for all of them, and it's direct plug and play, and away you go. That is so awesome. It's, I, I really like that you guys make something for everybody, and this isn't like an exclusive technology, just kind of a you know a small crowd. But I can put one of these in my pickup truck, in my boat, RV. It doesn't matter. You have something for everybody. Now, what do these do like in like colder climates for like, you know, we're out of Ohio. Can right. I use one of these in my daily driver in like a cold climate? Sure, they're actually rated all the way down to about minus 20. Um, but the thing is with the batteries, you usually have a draw on them, so it's gonna keep the pack warm. And the difference is with lithium versus lead is you hope it starts with a lead battery really quick when it's cold. Lithium will actually warm up and the performance will increase as it gets, uh, you know, it's used and cycled. So um, it actually will give you the same performance as a warm summer day once the battery's actually been used. Um, obviously, we got them in everything, and uh, we, you know, the cell technology is a premium grade, so that's the difference. Some lithium batteries out there don't like the cold, so I'm not saying all are created equal. Being the uh, you know premium race grade, competition grade battery, it's a little bit different, but it's nothing to worry about. Heck yeah, and that's good to know because just like you said, there's like a stigma with lithium, and you know people when they don't know about the technology and how great it is, they start to kind of fear it. It's just like when gasoline automobiles came out, people were on the fence and they were still riding sure. horses, and now look where we are. Now, what's actually inside one of these? Is there just kind of like some magic pixie dust and all that deal? Well, you would think so. A lot of people pick these up and they go, "It can't be real. They, it won't start my car." But uh, yeah, there is differences in there. A lot of the, uh, what we call consumer grade lithium batteries out there use a prismatic cell. If you've ever seen like an iPhone or an iPad battery, soft silver pouch style, not very rugged and robust, you know, and so they have different traits of it. Definitely a lower quality type. We use steel case cylindrical cells. So basically they look like C-sized batteries. They're actually DOT approved. So obviously, you know, overcharge, discharge, impact, and then not, we take it a next step further is once we've assembled the batteries, we actually send those off for certification and have all that testing done so you can actually ship them by air. Um, obviously, they're safe in vehicles. We've had them in crashes and drag racing and sports cars and everything else. Uh, and so they have all the built-in safety features so you don't have to worry about any of the hazards that you normally hear about with some of the lithium stuff out yeah. there. Yeah, man, you guys have really dotted your I's and crossed all your T's. This is a, this technology is really cool and I can't wait to get one for my pickup truck. Well, like I said, you know, you look at the guys out there, we do have Pro 4, Pro 2, two uh, you know, off-road guys have been running, Baja guys, you know, very brutal on it. Drag racing is very hard with tire shake, you know, just destroying things. So. They've you know, withstood the test of time 13 years. We got all the top you know, professional sports car teams, drag race teams, OEMs like Corvette Racing for 12 years straight to run our lithium batteries with perfect reliability. So our, I think our pedigree speaks for itself. Oh yeah, you guys uh, certainly have an impressive resume behind these batteries. Yeah, and like I said, we, we love supporting companies like you guys that make awesome products like this. And that's the awesome part. All these are available at summitracing.com or in one of our four retail store locations. So if you're looking for a Braille battery, check out the full available product line, or if you're not sure, call into our customer service line and they'll be able to get you helped out and get you exactly what you need. We really appreciate you taking the time to talk to us today, Gary, and we can't wait to see what you guys put out in the future. Well, we just keep, you know, anytime there's a need or someone needs something that's better, more reliable, more power, that's what we're all about. And so if they, if it's a market that's out there, you let us know and we can probably build it for you. Oh, heck yeah, and we appreciate that. So until next time, guys, I'm Justin with Summit Racing, and this is Gary with Braille Batteries, and we'll see you guys later.